Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name's Garrett. I'm Melissa. This That's is James. James. And we are the Leffersons, and usually we unbox and do Disney content, but um, our life kind of changed about seven months ago when we had this guy. Yep. <laughs> And uh, so we have been posting some baby content recently, yes. but I mean, a lot of you guys have families and even if you don't normally watch our channel and you're just here for specifically what we're talking about today, then you've come to the right place because we're really excited about this video. Yes. To be honest. <laughs> so the wonderful people over at Love Every reached out and uh, offered to send over one of their play kits. So if you're not familiar with what Love Every is, the meat of them <laughs> is their play kits. Now these are subscription boxes that fit different stages of the baby's development, of your yes. child's development, but that's not it. They also have like a whole bunch of standalone stuff They too. have standalone toys, they have the play gym, which we actually registered for and purchased. We actually registered when we were, when we didn't even know if we were having a boy or a girl, it didn't matter. We registered for a lot of the Love Every play kits. Unfortunately, we did not get any of them, but that's okay. So the fun thing about Love Every, which as an educator, I mean, Garrett and I are both in education. Oh, we absolutely love this this part of it. All of the play kits are developmentally like appropriate for each age level. So this is the sensor box, I believe, that is six five to six months. So he's yes. seven months now. So he's officially over the age. But the He's things inside love of it. So as Alyssa was saying, we're both in education, and so we want the best toys mm -hmm. that serve a purpose. And so the wonderful thing about Love Every is it is designed by experts for your baby's developing brains. Yes. And so right inside they have this little little baby there, <laughs> but it has a whole uh, timeline. And I think one thing that I really love about Love Every is they include these guides. Which I feel like is so smart because a lot of the times, especially with toys specific, they're, I, I wanna say these are kind of more like a Montessori sort of toy. They go that route. Yeah, so a lot of the times as parents, we don't like know, like, okay, here's this toy to play with just play with it, right? But we don't, it, it gives us a guideline of exactly Correct. what we can do with each toy and with, it, our, with our baby. I think that we are also really trying to be intentional with our time with James. Yeah. And it like fills it all out and what and when and what to do with each of the things. There's a whole, I'm a nerd <laughs> and I love this because like we said, it gives you that why, but let's exactly. see what's inside of here. We have James here so we can show him all the items in this box because uh, he, this is his first time seeing it all. And again, this isn't really an unboxing. This is kind of the whole experience and because you can see whatever's inside the box online. There's no surprises. Yeah. So there's the parts of me book. He's really into books right now oh. and it names all the different parts of the bodies. And then it has like this, uh, it kind of looks like an orange, but it's a rainbow ball. It has a name on it. Yeah, that's literally what it's called, is an organic rainbow ball. Oh man, this I'm so excited for. Because- oh, it's like the tissue box almost. Yes, this is the magic tissue box where you can just keep pulling them out. Now the question becomes, how do we repack them? <laughs> I would assume you just stuff them back in, right? I, I guess so. <laughs> and my, my little guy, our little guy has found his feet. So we have some oh play my socks. Gosh. He's actually gonna love those because right? he still grabs at his feet constantly. And this is the spinning rainbow. Did you hear that? <laughs> he, he did, he looked up at it. So he can sit there and roll this around. It's on a wide base, so it's not gonna flip over. Oh, this is heavy. Ah. Here you see, he loves this book. He's he's really good at turning the pages these days. But this is a playtime wobble. It's weighted on the bottom, so it can't flip over. Very fun. So this is all about so sensory and uh, making sure, oh, I see, oh. They have little slits. I was saying how to do it, and I think you just like pull them together. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm assuming it says in the actual uh, novel, the not no novel, the, <laughs> in the actual book, the guidebook. Um, so I'm interested to see what James kind of gravitates to. Uh, but oh, this is so cool. 
So with the with the socks or the learning ball, during tummy time, have your baby reach for a grass grip, uh, squeeze and mouth the ball. Obviously, he already loves the book. James is super into books. Oh, yeah. He already knows how to turn pages, as you can see. He's <laughs> just like, he loves looking at pictures. Obviously, I typically read the book to him, but. Yeah, he's not reading He will just look at the pictures and turn the pages and see. He's like, uh, excuse me, can you bring that back? But there's other toys, too. Should we look at something else? So you showed this, right? The parts of me. Mm -hmm. I love that this has like actual pictures of, of real the kids, children. Yeah. And not animated. And an, not, yeah, not animated. Not to say that he doesn't love animated pictures, Correct. but I love that this has like real pictures of real children. That's oh, he's awesome. going towards he's the He's going uh, oh he's grabbing the ball. Okay, so I think what we're going to do now that he has all these new toys to play with, we are going to just let him play. So we will let you know in a few minutes or even in a few seconds here, kind of what he likes the best. And we're gonna kind of talk about a little bit more about the booklet and what uh, some of the activities are. He wants to just eat this. He wants to eat everything, you know, yes. he's in that stage. And each activity is is about a, a developmental milestone or yes. like it's helping hit the fine motor or the, the mouth. And so there's a Which purpose to everything. Love. Yes, exactly. So. Uh, first, before we even continue on, thank you so much to Love Every yes. for sending us this. And reaching out. If you want to learn more about Love Every and if you want to be a Play Kit subscriber, we will leave a link down below. Of course, that is an affiliate link, but we would appreciate it so much. It does help out the mm -hmm. channel when you use our link to purchase. Also, if you are expecting, Yes. Add these to your registry. But this also is a great <laughs> gift. Yes, it's also an amazing gift. We actually purchased this, the first play kit, the mm -hmm. like, the like, very beginning, I think it was just like week one to week 12 or whatever, the first mm -hmm. three months of life. We purchased that play kit for someone else. So James is getting a little fussy. Uh, we're going to play with some toys here in a few minutes and that will be it. Yep. Alyssa here. So we're just going to get right into James playing with all of these toys. So you're going to get some James action here. I'm basically just going to go through each toy and kind of talk about it a little bit and if James liked it or did not like it. And obviously we're starting with one of his favorites, the spinning rainbow. So all of these toys, each one kind of works on a different skill. Most of them all obviously fine motor. So this one is reaching with both hands. Um, so around five months, they should be reaching with both hands. As you can see, he's only reaching with one hand. Uh, it does say in here by around seven months, they may be able to reach with one hand, which makes sense because he's seven months at this point. So he loves this one he plays with this one all the time he loves that it makes noise he really loves anything that makes noise so this was a total win for us next up we have the rainbow ball which to be honest <laughs> this one was a little bit of a struggle to begin with i don't think james quite knew what to do with it and for some reason he had a really hard time grasping it i think he needs to learn that he can like put his fingers technically in between each of the colors so we practice some tummy time with it we practice him sitting up obviously he just wants to put it in his mouth at this point <laughs> that's very much the stage that he's in um and i did kind of put it out of reach a little bit from him and he tried to get it but he is definitely not moving forward yet he is just as you can see scooting backwards but we're gonna get there Next, we have the good old magic tissue box. Now this one took a while for him to figure out as well. As you can see, he really just used it as a drum to begin with. <laughs> and he, like I said, anything that makes noise, he loves. So eventually he got the hang of, oh, when I pull this, something comes out. So as you can see later on, this is, I've, this is obviously filmed within a few days. He really got the hang of it. He actually really loves this one now and he still uses it as a drum sometimes, but he also really likes to pull everything out. And the skill for this one is pulling objects out of a container using those fine motor skills. The next skill is capturing a moving toy, which is where this tummy time wobbler comes in. And to be honest, this one, <laughs> I feel like James has a love hate relationship with this wobbler. He loves to put it in his mouth. I think he, he reaches for it very often, but as you can see, he has a hard time keeping it in his hands. It definitely does wobble. This is one that you're supposed to use a lot during tummy time to try to get them to, you know, capture it and move forward. And since he's not quite in the moving forward phase, he just kind of gets frustrated and he's over it and he rolls over. So eventually we're gonna get there. For now, he just puts it in his mouth. Next, we have the good old play socks, which 
James loves, I mean loves, eating his feet, playing with his feet. He's constantly touching his feet whenever he's laying on his back. <laughs> I feel like when I first put these on his feet, he didn't really know what to do with them. And now, to be honest, he just loves he loves like grabbing the socks and using them as an actual rattle. But if you do put them on his feet, just him trying to pull them off is still using those fine motor skills, which he is a pro at pulling off socks. So <laughs> that is still, even if he doesn't quite rattle them, it's still working on fine motor skills just by him pulling them off. Last but not least is developing language, which is obviously where this board book comes in. And needless to say, he already loves the book. We already knew this, right? He absolutely loves books. And this is just developing the language of talking about the different parts of your face. So he absolutely loves it. And I absolutely love the play guide just to look through and see, you know, what kind of milestones he should be hitting and what you can do with all of these toys and what skills they should be working on. And of course, James loves it too. So as you can see, James definitely loves all of these toys. To be honest, I feel like now we need to go get the next box, the yes. seven to eight month box, because hey. he's just like ready to rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> and he's mad because he can't turn the pages. So if you want to get your own play kit and be a play kit subscriber, of course, we will leave our affiliate link down below. Uh, go check them out, go to their website. They also have standalone toys, so many things. And again, we said you can even add it to your registry or buy it as a gift for someone else. Do and it. thank you so much to Love Every for sending us this play kit. Now we just need all the others because <laughs> we literally love this subscription box and get this is perfect. Get this for your baby or someone else's baby because it's a wonderful gift. Exactly. So if you like what we do here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, thumbs up and that bell icon uh, because we're going to be eventually uploading some other videos and yep. <laughs> uh, if you hit that bell icon it will let you know when we do that so exactly. uh is that thank it thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you real soon bye guys see you later james is gonna read count to monte cristo next say bye james he's like i'm just looking for the love he's looking toys. for the toys <laughs> <laughs>